Hey guys, this is John, and welcome to another Clock as a Weapon video. I'm playing Cap Ball. Let's play Knight F6 against my opponent's D4 and see what happens. Maybe I'll play a Nimzo Complex. I don't really play this too often. A couple times here and there. I, I do know how to play the black side of the Catalan, though, which is the opening that we're in here. White Castles, and now I'm going to take on C4. Hope you're all doing well. This is one of the first sessions... Not the first session, but one of the first that I've recorded with my new computer. And I'm happy to report that with the help of one of my students, thank you, Erwin, I'm sure you're going to watch this, we have solved the fan noise issue. So I'm very pleased about that. The PC is humming along almost silently, and I'm looking forward to uh, using this beast at its max potential. So I primarily got this for chess analysis. So I'll be doing more of that but it will help on the streaming and video editing side of things too. All right, so I put my bishop on c6. I know this looks a little bit odd, but I'm trying to oppose white's bishop on g2. Let's see how this shapes up. I like my knight going to b4 as well. Usually when I'm talking a lot at the beginning of a video, I'm getting behind on the clock, but I'm trying to keep that pace going. That's the name of the game in this series. Okay. Uh, let's play bishop d6. I would expect knight e5 here. Maybe bishop g5. See what my opponent wants to do. On knight e5, I think I'll swap and play c6. Aim for a, a sturdy pawn structure. Yes, yeah, so let's take. Could also play knight d5, maybe. Knight d5 is interesting, but uh, maybe. Yeah, actually, let's play knight d5. I'll hit the bishop here, just see how white responds. Take with the pawn. I'm trying to fight for this e4 square. Why not? Hmm. This is a fork. So, let's play it. I don't see anything wrong with it. Let's go for it. Yeah, now, my opponent's just going to try to win one of these pawns, but... I don't have to acquiesce to that, I don't think. Or do I? How do I keep these? It should be four, there's knight d3. Ah, uh, maybe that's not so bad. It should be four, knight d3, c6. Mm. Alright, just pausing here for a moment. Taking also isn't a great solution. I really hate to spend so much time thinking. But I want to get this right. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play it this way. Trade. My opponent's going to have some compensation, though. That's the only thing I dislike about this, but I didn't see a better way. And I burned a lot of my time trying to work this out, so... Just got to live with it. I'm still up a point of material. I'm thinking e3, f6, or h6. I'm trying to cramp that bishop. Okay. Uh, let's play h6. I won't commit to f6 yet. Just kind of nice to have this option, though. And let's go f6 now. Deny him this. Oh, he offers a queen trade. Interesting. Uh, I am not going to agree to that. Stop the presses, I know. John is avoiding a queen trade, but I have concrete reasons to do so. I feel like my position is pretty good. G5 even. A mm, little early for that. Let's go here. Just defend. Overprotection. It's often a good strategy in blitz, so make sure this pawn is always held. And let's play this now. Ooh, now this rook can swing over here. And there may very well be some mating ideas. I can give a check as well. This looks like big trouble for my opponent. Check. If F3 I take. So king has to move. King F1 gets mated. Queen H1. So king G1 and now here. 
And we're going to win a piece or mate. Okay. Yep, and let's play... Let's go Rook over here. Give a check. I can go back to G1, but might as well just give one check. And then make sure we don't lose the time scramble. I'm going to march in with my king. This is overwhelming. Oh, I can't get it in time. Oh, man. I didn't get moves off in time. That's a tough loss. A little bit too slow on the clock there. I didn't find a mate as well. That was not using the clock as a weapon. I should have won that too. Yeah, okay. Well, that one hurts to start out. I'm sorry to make many of you cringe at home. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, was a little bit too casual on how I was converting that. All right, on to the next game though. Layout's all good, okay. Playing the Tory here against a Grandmaster. Um, okay, let's play bishop c4. This is usually how I play this. Here. Now, I would love for them to blunder with b6, but they usually don't. b6 allows take and bishop d5. People seem to know that idea, though, so... Okay. Ah, interesting. Now, here, I'm very tempted to play this move. Take, takes g3. Is it working? Mm, probably not. Just think for a second, though. Why don't I try it? Take, knight takes. Let's try it. Yeah, why not? Because if here I can even throw in this move if I want. There's also this, but I'm worried that d5 is going to be the answer. Oh, but that's... No, let's, let's try this. Let's, let's dare black to take here. Because then queen h5, and on d5 I see I can play bishop d3. And I don't know if they want to walk into this buzzsaw. I don't know that black's going to survive that. Uh, e5, okay. Interesting. Things are heating up here. Yeah, that does make sense. Let's drop back to h3. Now black can tee off on this pawn. Yeah, let's take this way. Bishop takes here, and I'm thinking knight f4. Get this knight in the game. Okay. Let's go here. Maybe bishop g4 will be played. I think queen d2. Or knight f4, but queen d2 seems sensible. Let's eye up this pawn on h6. This knight is going to come to f4. Unusual position, but uh, I like my chances here with an extra pawn. Pretty safe king. I'm daring black to win the pawn back, but I like my coordination there if black does. So, Okay, so black actually offers a queen trade. Interesting. So I can take here if I want. Uh, that might be the most practical solution. Let's do it. Then I'll be threatening knight c7. Certainly, black looks pretty active here. They can play rook d8, for instance. Yep. Knight e3. Let's play it. There's a capture here possible. Who is better in this position? Okay. Hmm. So my opponent's arguing that that d pawn's a goner, and they're gonna have play with the bishops. Okay. I see your point. I'm trying to find a way to stay up a pawn or something, neutralize. But I'm not quite seeing it. Let's just go for this. Maybe bishop takes, though. Plays knight takes. 
All right, so I'll take here. Still up a pawn. Let's go here. Behind on the clock. It's a double attack and an annoying one at that. All right, let's just go here. I'm going to give the B pawn and try to play for some activity instead. Need to solve this issue with my king. It's a persistent problem. Like bishop g7, I can't play knight f5 because of rook d1. So maybe I should activate this rook up the board. Maybe try to get the king out this way. Okay. Let's go here. Oh, man, I have 17 seconds left. Again, drifting. Bad, bad habits, guys. This is just not enough. I'm threatening this, but probably too little too late now. Yeah, this is even tricky too, and I just blundered. Yeah, this is not gonna cut it, guys. With these pawns like this, I can't capture this hind pawn without allowing the A pawn to run, so it's resigns time. All right, so I really failed in my first two games here. This has been a uh, rough stretch in the first two encounters, but we got three games to go still. Just try to play better. Try to play quicker. That player was rated 27, high 2700, so. But nonetheless, got to hold myself accountable. That was not good. Okay, Mark Evgenovich is next. Play my usual. Okay, exchange Slav. Let's play e6 here. Nice and easy. e6, bishop d6. Nothing crazy. I'm a long way to post up their knight on e5, but we'll play it like this. Maybe bishop back to e8. I sometimes like the solidity that this type of situation offers. You can play g6 pretty easily in a position like this. So I'll do that. Maybe knight e7 on the way. Uh, do I want to play it yet? Let's go actually a6 first, I'm thinking, to keep a little bit of pressure here. A6, B5, just useful to control that square. So let's do that. Maybe also Rook C7 and some doubling I think would be helpful. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. He's maneuvering. Now Knight takes D4 is a threat. I'll be double attacking this rook on c1. So, okay. White is going all in for the attack, it seems. So with that in mind, how best to play? Knight b4, bishop b1, knight c2. There's just rook e2. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe here, doesn't do, a mu do much though. Let's throw this in just to see after this whether knight c2 is a thing. I can also perhaps play bishop c6, mm, nah, doesn't do much. Okay, let's go here. I'm thinking a3 then knight c2 followed by b4 is a little bit better. So that knight is annoying for white. Captures. Okay, he wants f5. So let's capture this way. Keep this well guarded. Maybe here now. Yeah, let's do that. Looking for e4 coming up. Bishop 
Interesting position. Tangled position here. Defending along the ranks. A little bit behind on the clock. Wow, E4. Crazy business going on. Take. And then E5, I guess, is his plan. What if I take here? Let's do that. Okay, he wants the F6 square, clearly. My bishop coming to C6 looks kind of annoying for white to deal with. But how do I engineer that? For now, it looks like I might have to play this. Boy, this is complicated. Let's go here. Or D1, I think I can go here. Take like that. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. I'm trying to cover this square a little bit better. So if my knight has to move, it's not the end of the world. Oh, nightmare position here. I don't know. This may not work out so well. There's rook d1. Brings the queen in. Okay. Oh, I'm going to try this. I know there's knight f6, but take bishop c6. Don't know that my opponent actually saw that. I might have got bailed out here. Yeah, he's getting mated now. I own the diagonals. He's going to get made on G2 if he tries to prolong it. Okay. Yeah. That was not great, though. That was kind of drifting into territory like the second game where I look down and I'm <laughs> down almost a minute on the clock. So... Mm, complicated position. I like how white maneuvered here. Rookie one. I feel like this is critical, but I think right around here, you see these bars. I spent too much time. 32 seconds on this move. 28 seconds on knight d5. Tricky position. All right. Well, tough session. I got I to gotta win, though. And I can still make this a positive session in terms of the score. So I'm back in action here. Anything I can check while I'm waiting for a pairing? I guess I'd be kind of curious about the status of this position right around here, especially e4. That's that's an interesting move. White's trying to fight for this square, ultimately trying to land the knight there. I do wonder. Let's pull this up. Okay. We'll take a look at it afterwards. Okay, Suzalda de Silva, knight f3. Let's go with c4. Okay. Some perhaps hedgehog type setup. A little bit of a hybrid from black. Let's go here. See how black treats this. They're going to allow me to advance. Okay. And grab the center. Um, let's play queen c2. Advances in the middle. I'll play d5. This bishop looks a little awkwardly placed. So no problem. Mm hmm. Let's go here. And then f6, I'll play bishop e3. And on f5, I think this is pretty strong. So now I can gradually look to prepare b4. And I've got a4 guarded, so takes is not an issue. Okay, this is a clear sign that black wants f5. They're trying to guard this square. So maybe this to interfere. Attack this. Mm -hmm. Now let's just go with the plan. Thought for a second about this, but I think Black's pieces here are all pretty poorly placed, so I can continue with my plan. Maybe even here. Actually, this looks quite good now. Knight f8 probably coming, but then d6, or c5 rather, attacking d6. 
Let's do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take C6. Wow, black is cramped. <laughs> A lot of pieces on the back rank here. Now, strategically, I should be winning. Black pretty much has to attack me. He's going to go knight g7, followed by f5. Okay, I'm going to plant a rook on b7, though. I'm not too fearful of this. I think on f5, I probably should just take it. Or f4, even, in the spirit of my uh, last opponent. And the knight's a little bit loose here, though. Just thinking for a second. Yeah, let's go with takes. I think takes is better. Black's king is always going to be in the line of fire now. I need to figure out how to come crashing down here. Maybe knight b5 coming up. We shall see. Let's take. The knight here looks pretty tempting. Threatens knight takes d6 in a lot of scenarios. Not quite yet because the queen is guarding, but makes sense. Okay. Let's do this just so I have the option of dropping the bishop back. Wow, an f4 is played. I think I can just take. Pawn takes, bishop here. Ooh, queen check. I missed that this is hanging. That is a lapse on my part. It's going to hit this too. The thing is, even the end games are pretty good for me. Queen here, maybe? Not as good as I, was, I would like, though. Hmm. Here? Not sure. All right, let's get the queens off. I don't want to mess around in this position. That was a pretty important pawn I just lost. But I still like my chances against c7 and d6. Okay. I think I can do this. Oh, there's d5. All right, let's go after this pawn then. 36 seconds. Yikes. Uh, he's going after the C pawn. Mm -hmm. Possible repetition here. Not sure black's going to go for that. Way down. Let's take. Okay. Got to turn it on here. Important to play fast now. Let's go here. Rook d8, I can go here next. Black might just give that pawn, we'll see. Yep. Push. Okay, this is winning. Take. Start advancing here. Oh. Well, don't think I'm going to get the win, but I got a draw. I secured the draw by eliminating my opponent's pieces. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I think a draw is all right, given the circumstances there. Winning endgame, but just not enough time, guys. That's the second game in this session where that was the case. It's too bad when I had the A and the C pawns. I didn't see a clear way to get one through. But okay, last game of the session. One and a half out of four, let's get a win.
playing down on rating. The algorithm paired me way down. But everyone is tough. Okay, let's take this way. Play bishop f4, followed by e3. Nice and easy. Bishop d6, I like going bishop g3 here just to try to take towards the center. Yeah, get a nice compact structure like this. Mm hmm. Okay, let's take this way. Interesting. So now this square could be potentially weak. I'm going to angle for it. Where will I put my king? Depends. We'll see where black puts their king. <laughs> okay, a3 seems sensible here. Maybe e5 is a move for black, but no. Okay, so I'm thinking I should play f4 since black did not take the opportunity to play e5. All these pawns on dark squares. That's a nice relationship with my light square bishop. My pawns are not impeding my bishop at all. Okay, black does castle. Hmm. Let's go bishop d3. And f6, wow. So black looks intent on playing for e5. I would welcome that, though. So let's go here. Yeah, I, don't, I think this is too risky. Bishop c4 type stuff. Uh, generally queen g6 as well. I think black may have to change their mind, yeah, and play for f5 instead. Okay, so now maybe I can start maneuvering. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. Play knight c4. Still got to control this square a little bit. I don't want this move to happen when I have, like, say, an undefended bishop that black is lined up with. And at this stage, I think it's appropriate to castle short and play for a strategic squeeze. I know I went from thinking about attacking earlier to now playing it more strategically. Ooh, take. But sometimes you make adjustments mid-game. Let's take this way. Hit this. Also, bishop takes f5 as a threat, which I think black probably missed here. Yeah, that's a pawn. Use the pin. On knight d5, maybe bishop h3, something like that. Or bishop e4 even. Yeah, I think this is decent. Rook c1. Try to break down black's knight, which is holding together c7 as well. Not too worried about this. Uh, I could even take if I want. Queen c5 seems useful though. Let's do that. And I suspect black's going to want to keep pieces on board. Yep. Um, should I go for a5? Queen takes h4, take d5. Feels like I can get away with it, but also it feels unnecessary. It's the easiest way to play this. She don't know. It's not not a trivial position yet. Oh, he takes with the rook. Okay, so now take here. Okay, bring the king up. I think that's a good way to start. Queen is getting in a little bit. Oh, watch your time, John. F6, maybe? Mm. Oh, but then I have rook c8. Okay, very important. Oh, there's queen there. Yikes. That I missed. Is this like a weird draw now? Or do I get mated somehow? I wonder if there's like a rook takes f4 type move. 
Okay, draw. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't find the way to neutralize the position here. 43, 43 seconds spent on bishop takes d5. It's a little bit annoying because h4 is coming, and I feel like a couple accurate moves, and I should be just winning this game. But <laughs> black is coming for my solid pawn structure. I'm really not sure. The computer might say something cold-blooded like queen takes a5, h4, bishop takes d5, and rook takes c7. But I always saw this queen coming to g6 in the end or somehow wiggling in. Now, I, don't, I ultimately don't know about taking on d5. Otherwise, the game felt really good. I thought I was cruising to victory after bishop takes f5. But that goes to show you, like, you can't ever relax in chess. There's always counterplay to be had. I mean, I'm probably fortunate I didn't lose here. I wonder if there's a mate somewhere. You know what I saw is, like, rook takes f4? Uh, I saw this is actually checkmate, so I wonder if after this I somehow survive. But, man, this looks scary. Uh, check. I'm just barely getting away in this instance. King d3. Is there a mate? Queen h2. I guess I'm slipping out. There's even queen h7 at that point, though. I'm curious. Let's take a little peek here. Because the time was also in black's favor at this point as well. Hmm. The engine says I should play f3 here. Thought about it, but didn't want to lose e e3. The engine says do this and then rook c7. Play for checkmate. Guess there's queen takes d4 to defend, but let's back up a little bit. So right here, <laughs> I called it. I said, ah, the engine will probably say something cold-blooded like queen takes a5. And indeed, that move is plus 5.21. But it's taking the queen a long ways away from the king. You know, your instinct in a position like this, I think, is going to be to defend. Yeah, queen b5. Mm, suggesting queen b5, queen a4, queen e1. I'd say none of these are natural moves, or this two-move sequence isn't very natural when you're uh, just trying to snuff out counterplay. Wants to do this, pick up a tempo on the rook, and then come back here so that after this, the pawn is defended. What about the way I played it? Bishop takes d5. Still plus three and a half. Yeah, queen c2 is the recommendation now. King g2 is also fine. Whoa, g4. That's a creative one. g4, idea being after takes, play king h2 and use black's own pawn as shelter. And evidently black's going to have a hard time attacking me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not super happy about this, but I can see why this happens. I'm going to give myself a slight pass. You know, it's just uh, a situation where I need to make a good decision right around here, I think. And I, I, having looked at this again, I don't think taking the knight is the right call. Yeah, I mean, even king g2 right away, h4, like rook h1, even something like this looks better. I did briefly consider this line. Uh, one thing I didn't see is that I have bishop h7 in some of these positions. I did see that this could be met by knight takes f4, and black has a lot of firepower here. But fundamentally, I don't know that I should trade the bishop for the knight. Oh, and then there was one other thing I was going to check real quick, right? Ah, it was the game against Mark Yevgenovich. I was curious about the evaluation right here, where things exploded in the center. We had all this pawn tension. Huh, white's better. Yeah, I was fortunate to uh, get my my victory in this game. My lone victory of the session. White is now better here. What about the way white played it? Yeah, Rook d1, I was afraid of that move at various times. Yeah, this is tough. But then white probably got a little bit out of control. Oh. Wait, what did white miss here? Ah, this is a move order thing, guys. White played knight f6 first here. But after takes, I'm winning now because the bishop's going to come to c6. Had white played rook takes f... Uh, sorry, knight f... Uh, rook takes f4 first. Then on takes, there's knight check. And the rook is opened up towards the bishop on e8. So after rook takes f6, white doesn't take it back. They play rook takes e8, made in one. I saw a similar line there uh, during the game flash through my head, but... That was it, I guess. 
That was how White could have won the game. Rook takes f4. Okay. Yeah, tough session, guys. That first game where I, I actually lost from a completely winning position because I was too slow. Kind of set the tone for the rest of this. I didn't use the clock as a weapon today, but that's okay. There's going to be many more attempts. I am using the new computer. It's working out well so far. Oh, before I sign off, I did want to say thank you to one of my students and a loyal viewer of the channel, Art. Uh, Art recently sent me this. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This is a compliment to the king that you all know and love. So Art sent me a fiberglass queen, and it's gorgeous. It's got a nice shine to it. I have to figure out how I'm going to set this up because this king is on a very narrow uh, perch here on top of the books, and it's just a printer. But I'm going to figure out a way to display the queen next to it. Thanks again, Art, and thanks to all of you for watching. Um, I know a lot of you always drop nice comments and stuff. I, I try to read them and respond to them when I can, and I really do appreciate you guys. So thanks for that gift. All right, rough session today, but some things to reflect on. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye, guys.